Hello again everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jersey Shore Pondscapes Videos. My name is Chris and today we are doing another video about an aquatic plant called Parrot's Feather. Now I'm doing a whole series of videos on all different aquatic plants for your water garden or you know garden pond um, and today we are looking at a plant Parrot's Feather, okay? Parrot's feather is a really common plant. Um, it's a great plant because it's really versatile. Um, it can be planted down deep in your pond, okay, where it will grow up to the surface, or it could be planted on a shelf as like a marginal or bog plant um, where it will spread, you know, more throughout the surface. Um, it's a very delicate, very soft looking plant, almost kind of fern, fern like. Um, they can be purchased potted, okay, or I've seen them sold um, basically like, I want to say bare root, it's actually not really roots, um, just stems that are cut off and they usually come maybe six eight stems and like wrapped in like a rubber band or something and you can take those stems home you can plant them in a in a pot you know with some dirt uh, or I've even just stuck them in a pot with just gravel and just the gravel holds it all in there and eventually they all root in and it grows just as well um, not all water plants need to be potted in dirt Okay, I really tend to um, pot most of my plants just in the gravel. Okay, it just, for me, it just keeps um, the pond cleaner. Okay, I don't have to worry about the, the gravel, um, dirt spilling out all over the place. Um, the plants are getting their nutrients out of the water. Okay, just as much as they're getting it out of the dirt. Okay, so um, if they can get rooted right in gravel, that's great and easy too. Okay, um, so again, you know, these plants, um, if they're down deep in the pond, they will come up to the surface. And if they're, you know, up on a shelf, they will spread out and grow across the surface uh, horizontally, um, which is kind of cool because that provides a lot of shade and a lot of cover for the fish as well. Now, just be careful because some larger koi will rip them apart and tear them to pieces. So, uh, you know, especially if their koi are um, laying their eggs, they will love these plants. They'll be all in these plants and they'll rip them all apart as they're laying their eggs. So just be aware of that and, and be cautious of that. Um, otherwise, um, the parrot's feather basically grows like a weed. <laughs> it grows really fast. It gets nice and big, um, but it's very easy to control and you can always just cut it back, trim it back. Um, cool thing about these plants though is each, you know, long stem that comes off, you'll see that they actually send roots off out of those stems. So, um, you know, only the top part that's above the surface actually is nice and lush and green and feathery looking. Um, underneath, um, it will have some leaves under the water as well, but it'll be a lot of roots coming off of those stems. That's why sometimes they're sold as cuttings. You can just clip off those stems, pot them, and they grow. <laughs> All right, really easy. No tricks there. Um, so, um, Paris feather also, just so you know, does not flower. All right, it doesn't get any kind of flower on it. It's basically just the attractive foliage on it, you know, that makes it um, very popular. It's a really cool, nice, soft, fern looking like plant for your pond. Um, as far as hardiness goes, um, they are kind of semi-hardy, okay? Um, I would say don't rely on it to come back year after year after year if you're in a really cold climate. Um, sometimes they do, but most often they don't, okay? Um, so. It is something, you know, that you probably will be purchasing, you know, year after year if you want. Um, but sometimes it will come back. All right. Um, they do get big. Okay. They will grow. Again, like all other water plants, um, don't 
over by water plants. In other words, <laughs> if you have a pond, you know, 10 by 10, don't buy 10 of these things and say, oh, I'm gonna put them all around my pond because within a couple months, you won't see the water. <laughs> They'll spread like crazy. So don't over buy water plants, okay? All the water plants will grow and spread really quickly. So, you know, Buy one, let it grow, okay? It'll look beautiful um, within a few months. It grows fast, okay? Um, so definitely um, check out Paris Feather. It's a really popular plant and it's popular for a reason, right? It's easy to grow and it looks great. It provides cover for the fish. It provides um, shade, you know, in the water to help keep it cooler. Um, now the other thing is with this Paris Feather, just quickly, I have seen it listed as an oxygenator, okay? To me, oxygenators are a gimmick, okay? Don't buy a plant because it's an oxygenator and I need oxygenators in my pond. I don't believe in that at all, okay? All plants are oxygenators. All plants with leaves are oxygenators from, you know, the bushes outside to your trees in your backyard, okay? They give off oxygen. They take in carbon dioxide, they give off oxygen that's a process called photosynthesis and that only happens when the sun's out okay during the day at night it's the reverse so when you go to a garden center and you know they say you need to put oxygenators in your pond okay don't fall for it because <laughs> they're not telling you that they only put out oxygen during the day all right, at night, it's the reverse action. They absorb the oxygen and put out carbon dioxide, okay? So there's been many instances where I've seen people that, you know, have gone out and bought all these oxygenators and, and as they're growing and they're growing and growing in their pond, and then, you know, if they don't have aeration in the pond, supplemented aeration or a waterfall running or something like this, and they come out in the morning to go feed their fish, and they find half of their fish up at the surface gasping for air, and they don't understand why, because I have oxygenators in my pond, and it should be plenty of oxygen, okay? At night, it absorbs all the oxygen, okay? So don't fall for that, all right? Um, buy the plant because you want the plant, not for its oxygenating abilities, okay? <laughs> um, so just be aware of that. It's a pretty important point. Um, Okay, so that's it, you know, basically just a quick review of Parrot's Feather and, and what it is and how, how it should be used in your pond um, and some facts about it. Um, I hope it helped you out. Um, you know, really nice plant. Um, it's, it's, it's one of my favorites. It looks great, um, you know, so very neat plant. So thank you for watching. You know, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and, you know, subscribe to my channel if you're into the koi ponds and waterfalls and you want to learn a lot about them. Um, I have a ton of videos here on just about every subject that you can think of and I hope uh, you know it can help you guys out with your own projects and your own ponds all right so thanks for watching and take care and have a great day bye